Or do you want to do the right two? How many do you need? Three. So you could either do the whole, the left, the middle, the right, left two, right two. Six combinations of loops you can do, whichever one you think is uh, better for you to do it quicker. And then when you set it up, you simplify it, and then you do it. You should get the same answer. So let's say in this case, which one would be quick here? Uh, I could do uh, the left one, let's say. That's the left one. Ten I one plus twelve I two. So that's my first equation. And then which one should I do? Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to choose the left two. Again, I'm going to want to avoid. I want to avoid this if I can, because it has two things in it, right? So I can avoid that and then just do the left two. Nine minus ten i one. So left two. Nine minus ten i one minus eight i one minus i two. And then down the, the 9, negative 9i3 nine is equal to 0. And there's nothing on the bottom. So you're left with uh, 9 is equal to, this one goes to the other, everything goes to the other side. 10i1 plus 8i1 is 18i1. And then uh, this is, uh, goes to the other side, so that's negative 8i2 plus 9i3. Okay. The equations look completely different than the three equations we got last time. You know why? Because I set up the circuit completely differently. My I1, I2, I3 are different. But when I finally go to answer the question, what is the current across each resistor, it's going to be the same. You know. And then which one should be my third one? Again, I could probably be choose the, maybe again, or avoid this one, and then just do the right one, you know. Right loop. So uh, when I'm doing the right loop, I go against the 9, so a 9i, nine positive 9i3, nine minus 15, I1 minus I2 minus I3, and then plus 8 equal to 0. And then again, this goes to the other side. So 8 is equal to 15 I1, and then negative 15 I2. Let's see here. Negative 15 I2, and then uh, negative 15 I3, and then this one is negative 9. So negative 15 I3, negative 9, negative 24 I3. And again, put that into my simultaneous solver. I1 is 0.8299. I think that's what I got last time, right? Because I haven't changed I1. 
and then I2 is 0.5584. Is that different than the last one? Yeah, but my I2 last one was the, the, whole, the whole thing, right? But uh, this time, my I2 is this one. So if I want to know what's the current through the 8 ohm resistor, I subtract I1 minus I2. So if I subtract I1 minus I2, that should give me what I got for the I2 last time. You see? And then the I3 gives me negative 0.1636. That's what the the answer came out, which is the current through the 9 ohm resistor, which is negative means it's going up, right? So again, uh, if I want to know what's the current through the 15 ohm resistor, I do I1 minus I2 minus I3, I combine all three of them to know the current through the 15 ohm resistor, okay? So you see, here's, those are the two methods. Um, let's see here if we, how much, how many like this one? No? I'll, how about the Maxwell loop? The Maxwell one, it seems like there's a little bit less that you have to plan at the beginning. Just do I1, I2, I3, then, psh, you know. Whereas this one, you kind of plan, okay, which, how should I set up the current? And then which loops should I do? You know? So, um, Okay, now let's go.